Motorola is focused on providing our customers with wireless agility. One of the ways we accomplish that is designing our products to be easy to deploy. What I want to share with you today in this video are some tips on deploying P2P800, our licensed microwave product. This segment is going to show you how to install the mid-span ground connection to the IF cable. What we should start with is our IF cable, and this would run between the compact modem unit and the ODU up on the tower. What we have here is the uh, JST400A mid-span strip tool. This tool is used to remove the outer jacket from the IF cable, which will then allow us to hook on the uh, ground clamp. First step is to open up the tool and place it around the cable and close it down. Next step is to rotate the strip tool and you're going to want to do about 10 full rotations. That will strip back about two and a half inches of the outer jacket. Open up the tool to remove it. And with your scissors cut off any remaining of the jacket material that's been stripped back. The next step is to take the ground cable and take your weatherproof tape and cut off about uh, one and a half inches. Peel this back. What we want to do is wrap this around the base of the ground cable. This is going to help provide a complete weatherproof seal. Next step is to put your zip ties through the slots and this is what's going to mechanically hold the ground cable to the coax cable. Now take and form the ground connection around the area of the uh, IF cable which you stripped it back. At this point pull your zip ties through and snug them up tight. So tightly secured on here, you want to cut off the excess. Next step is to, we want to seal this entire assembly with the remaining weatherproofing compound. Make sure you overlap over the black jacket to ensure a weatherproof seal. Continue to wrap it around the entire exposed area. Once you've got it uniformly rolled out over here, you want to take and with your hands form the weatherproof so that it get all of the air bubbles out and you ensure that there are no gaps and you've got complete overlap so there's no way for any moisture to leak in from either end of the cable inspecting it making sure you see no gaps in here it's pretty pliable and it will stick onto itself once you've got it completely wrapped around you want to take your wide electrical tape and again wrap over it and this will provide complete protection from the uh, elements outside. Again starting beyond where the uh, weatherproofing compound stops and wrap around completely covering the entire cable assembly. and coming back on itself a second time to provide an additional layer of covering. This will really ensure that no water leaks in.
finally forming it, making sure there's no weatherproofing material uh, that wasn't covered up by the tape. Nothing is uh, exposed or leaking out. And now we've got our IF and our ground strap uh, in mid-span of the cable. So this would be for where your cable comes down the tower, at the base of the tower, we now have a grounding point. Let's go to your ground bus bar.